Hi guys, so today marks 12 months since I had my hair transplant procedure and I just wanted to do a video to talk about the whole process from start to finish. What I've got now is kind of the final result and I wanted to talk you through the whole process from my first consultation to having the procedure to the months after to where I am now and just give you an overview of how it all went. When I was considering having hair transplants and I was thinking about it for many years actually before I did it, I started noticing that I was losing my hair when I was about 16 and it gradually kind of thinned out. I'd see it in my hands, be like very anxious and worried about it. It did put me under a lot of stress. It did make me feel depressed and it got to a point where I was like enough is enough now I need to do something about it and I found KSI Clinic on Instagram because I saw that they were doing uh, quite a lot of celebrity patients and I was following their journeys I think I saw Gareth Gates journey I think I saw Gareth Gates on this morning actually and I was like right I need to go in I need to have a consultation so I contacted them went in had a consultation met um andrew who was amazing looked at my hairline looked how far back it was thinning gave me an idea of how many grafts i needed i think i needed about 2500 and then after that i went back again had another meeting had another consultation talked through all the intricacies of how it all works do i still want to go ahead then i booked my date to have it done so essentially, I had an FUE hair transplant, and that means they take the hair from the back of your head individually, the individual grafts are taken from your hair, like your individual hairs, one by one, and then they implant them into the front. So it sounds gross, and it is a bit gross, <laughs> really, but I am so, so glad that I did it. So I went in on the day of the procedure. Um, I had my best friend Katie with me, holding my hand. And the team were amazing. Again, checking that I'm happy to go ahead. Do I have any concerns? Running through everything to do with it. I had to sign some documents. And then I went in to have my hair extracted from the back of my head first. But before they do that, they have to shave the area that they are taking the hair from. So they shaved the back of my head. It looked like a mental patient. I looked crackers. So after they shaved the back of my head, I was face down on like a, a bed with like a raised back while they took the hairs out the back of my head. Now that did take quite a while, but once you have the initial injections, the anesthetic to numb the area, there's no pain whatsoever. The main thing was it was just a bit uncomfortable lying on my front for so long because uh, it does take a couple of hours. So once that part was done, I had some lunch and then I went back into the operating room and this time I was sat facing forward and I got to watch Netflix, Amazon, while they made the small incisions in the front of my head where they were going to put the new hair. So they have to make individual tiny holes in the top of your head. And Dr. Matty has now um, come up with his own technique called the Minsim FUE technique, which is where the holes are the smallest that they can possibly be and as close together as possible as well to give you the best overall look that your hair can have. So I was quite lucky really because Dr. Matty is a leader in his field of hair transplants so I was in very capable hands so I sat down had all the incisions done then the technicians and Dr Matty take the individual hairs that have been taken from the back of my head and then implant them into the front into the new holes one by one and that takes again a couple of hours it's a bit uncomfortable sitting there you get bored you got to sit in awkward positions you are a little bit sore, but you you know, you're under anaesthetic, so it's not like anything to write home about. It's not horrible, can't deal with it, pain. It's just 
bit of discomfort. So once all of the hairs were fully implanted, that was the procedure done. I think altogether it took about six and a half, seven hours with a break in the middle. And after that, I sat down with Dr. Matty and Andrew and they went through my aftercare plan with me. They give you a big pack full of everything you need to take care of your hair for the first two weeks after you've had your transplant done. So you have to sleep upright for the first two weeks. You can't lie on your back. You can't risk rolling around. You can't touch the transplanted area at all. So I had a travel pillow on and I was sleeping like a 45 degree angle upright which wasn't actually that difficult to be fair. You have paracetamol and ibuprofen painkillers. You have a saline solution spray bottle to keep the area moist because you don't want it to go dry. Keeping it clean, not touching it, not washing it, not getting it overly wet. And then after week two, it starts scabbing. You can see um, the hair follicles want to come out, you can see skin kind of scabbing over, it looks like you've got like the worst curse of dandruff you've ever seen in your life and you just really want to scratch all this dead skin off the top of your head, but you can't. But after week two, you can wash your hair by pouring a warm jug of water with a certain shampoo. I think it was baby shampoo actually. Johnson's baby shampoo for just nothing in it, just, just to clean the hair. Um, so you pour that over your head. I think you can do that every other day for the after week two. And then the scabs start to come off and then you can give it your first proper wash. You try not to scratch the scabs off too much because you don't want to pull the hairs out that have just been implanted. It's all very sensitive. They're still trying to settle in. Any kind of like touching or unnecessary kind of like if you bang your head or put a hat on, all big no-nos. You need to take care of the transplant area 100%. So I did that. All the scabs came off. And then the hair that's implanted actually falls out. And that's normal, that's part of the process. So that's called the shedding phase. So after the initial two weeks, and then you can start washing it, you feel a bit more like yourself again. And then the hair, all the new hair that's been implanted falls out. And then you're left with your old hairline again. But you can see a line of where your new hairline is gonna be. And then it's a really slow process. It, I'd say it probably took about four months before I started to notice anything really. Six months, I could see it all starting to come through and I was getting really excited. Um, had some PRP treatment in between that. PRP is basically where they take blood out of your arm, spin it in a centrifuge, take the plasma, out of your blood cells because that's the best part of it and then they inject that into your new hairline into where the transplanted area was and that promotes growth stimulates blood flow and just overall speeds up the process of a hair transplant so i had that done i was also going in and having a little bit of laser treatment as well so you just go into ksl sit under this kind of machine that sits on top of your head pointing like these red kind of like infrared lasers at your scalp and that promotes blood flow as well which is so important for the new hair and then yeah it just kind of carried on growing from there six months eight months ten months and now here we are at 12 months and i am just over the moon with the results looking at my before picture i can't even believe that um it's me i can't believe how bad my hair loss actually was and um yeah it's it's crazy the difference it's made to my confidence my self-esteem i just feel more like myself again and you know i'm not gonna lie there were times when before i had my transplant done when i was like if i lose my hair what am i actually gonna do 
like, do I even want to be here anymore? It was like, it was getting bad. Like, I was just miserable about it. You know, it's difficult. It's really, really difficult. And no one wants to be that person that doesn't have any hair. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So, anyway, on a more positive note, I absolutely am over the moon of it. I'm gonna come a bit closer. So that's my hairline now. So I've just had a shower by the way, washed my hair and just left it to dry naturally. So there's no product in it, nothing. It's just natural, that's it. So that's my new hairline. I am honestly, it's the best thing I've ever done. I'm so thrilled with that. It just made, it's just made me feel like a completely different person. The whole team at KSL were amazing from start to finish. Dr. Matty was great. Since having the procedure, they've been checking up on me, messaging me on WhatsApp. I've been in to see them countless times. I've had three rounds of PRP treatment now, and um, I'm gonna carry on the PRP treatment every three months. So four times a year, I'm gonna go in and have PRP treatment. And that's simply because where I've had my new hair implanted, that'll stay there forever, I'm not gonna lose that. Because that was taken from the back of my head. And the hair on the back of your head is immune to the chemical that men create called, I think it's called DHT, that makes you lose your hair on the top of your head. So you'll often see a lot of bald men have like a ring around the sides of the back of the head. That's because it all sits on the top of your head and you lose the top of your hair before anything else. So this new front hairline where they've implanted it into, that's gonna stay there forever. But my natural hairline behind that, that could naturally recede back further. So I'm having the PRP treatments because that as well as helping grow the transplanted hair, it's also amazing just for your natural hair as well. It stimulates growth and promotes blood flow and it's just really good at improving the thickness and density and health of your hair so i'm going to be having that every three months just to take care of my natural hair behind my transplant as well as the transplant as well and i am also taking a tablet called propecia now this has had a little bit of negative press there are a few side effects in a small number of people but for the majority of people there are no side effects i've not come across anybody that's had a hair transplant that's had any of the side effects so far i've not had any of the side effects so it's a little tablet you take it once a day i think it's one milligram of propecia well propecia is the branded name the actual drug is called finasteride so you don't need the branded one you just need finasteride. So I've been taking that. I was taking that before I had my hair transplant done because I did my research, went to my GP and asked them if they'd give me a prescription for it and they did. So you can, anybody can go and do that now from your GP or you can order it online. I use a website called Dr. Fox, which is uh, an approved medical website that you can get um, medication from and it's just a lot cheaper. I think it costs about 30 pounds for a month's worth on Dr. Fox. And if you go to your GP, I think it's about 50 quid. And that's it really. Um, so now it's just a case of taking care of it. I've been using Waterman's Grow Me Shampoo and Conditioner uh, since before I had the hair transplant again. It's got biotin in it. It's got argan oil, it's got a lot of good things that are known to promote hair growth and healthy hair. It also helps your hair look thicker. I'm so grateful for KSL, Dr. Matty, Andrew, the whole team. They were all so amazing. I'm so happy that I've had it done. And I just wanted to share the whole journey with you guys. I'm gonna give the video to them as well. So hopefully it will help some other people that are in the same position. If you've got any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below or send me a DM. But I'm just thrilled, I'm really, really thrilled and I'm really glad that I have it done.